my face hurts. I feel like a troll. You know those ones you have going on? We got some brutal things coming in here. We got Carl Rutherford, he's about to give us the business. We got 12 of these sofas, ZV5s, crammed into a, what seems to be, what is this, a Suburban? A, a Tahoe. We got a whole bunch of buddies here. We're about to get him to turn the volume up to full blast and see what we got in store for us. Four NS2s, so that's a whole bunch of power and we're getting it right now. Oh God, is that the windshield? It used to be a windshield. That's gonna be our organs. Oh my Think about it. There's concrete in this. It's like made out of concrete down there, right? Oh God. 252 Customs. Yeah. Troll, you know those ones you had going on? Oh, oh, Jesus. oh my god. <laughs> you look like Ace Ventura right now. That is some business. The changes that you made definitely made an improvement, man. Yeah. You see, he, he doesn't have doors anymore. He made them out of MDF. His dashboard is MDF with concrete. He saw his gas pedal in half just so he could fit the rest of the concrete in there. What the hell? That full power right there was 15.2 volts. Oh, so, so this is a so so like quarter volume. No, that's quarter volume. So even at just quarter volume, the bass was still almost too much to handle. Now, I'm kind of curious about all the first timers here. What do you guys think about all this? Would you ever sit inside of a vehicle even remotely like this? You know, let me know in the comment section below because it just so happens that we are building something very similar to this. Well, at least forward of the B-pillar. Just like Clippo, we'll reinforce the cabin with a custom MDF dashboard, add some beefiness to the doors, and lay down some layers of fiberglass mat on the floor. Last thing we want is a gaping hole in the chub just from jamming our sounds. Speaking of which, do you guys remember the last time we even saw this truck? The damn thing was playing tearing a hole in the metal right at my feet. The floorboards are coming up. That's just beyond. This This wasn't here a moment ago. So yeah, I'd say in regards to adding strength, anything goes in the world of car audio. Even though it may look a little bit silly to the first timers, sometimes you just gotta do it. <laughs> I couldn't see that. myself up, but then I sat down on this wood. It's not as bad as just a nut slap, is it? No, the nut slap got me good. I felt that one the next day. But when you 
sit down on this wood right here, you become a part of the enclosure and it just hurts. Hey, oh. I just to let you know how much pressure's in there. How much? We got McLarens on the floor and that shot out. <laughs> I lost the coal. Wait, that's a part of your speaker. like this you don't know where to point the camera because it's, because it's so overload do you ever feel like that just Which one sens sensory overload no yeah because there's so much to look like so much happening i don't know what to point the camera at it's overwhelming sometimes Whew, like this is a, a ride oh yeah hey kyle Bruce, this left one, Ty. it's like it's like in your head you feel like you got everything and then you go to watch the video and you're just like this yeah exactly it's like was that i was oh what the hell top left yeah, top, he's got it on video. Oh, God. Top left. Yeah, like the, not the top, top left, but the second one in. Oh, yeah. Just take it over down. Yeah. Or the toppest, but one in. Okay. Just like one spark. Big, not really. Just, just one little just, 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 you know. just a little spark. By now, if you're new to all this, you have to be asking yourself, what on earth are these people doing this for? Why are we putting our bodies through this just to listen to some music? Well, I gotta explain something to you. It's almost like the same reasoning behind going to Six Flags or like King's Dominion or any big amusement park. Yes, you may get jarred around a little bit on those roller coasters and come out with a little crank in your neck, but the thrill of it during is worth it so much so. A lot of the time you may see my face cringing up like this or I'm holding my body and like bracing myself. And my base face, if you will, kind of illustrates itself as oh and yeah and like doing these weird aggressive looking faces, but I'm enjoying myself to the fullest even though I'm not like oh la 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 singing to the music it's like sensory overload like was mentioned before it just fills your whole body with pressure and it's it's quite an amazing feeling and even though a lot of people may think it does crazy amounts of damage to your hearing it's really not so bad it's 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 low frequency and I would be much more um, worrisome about higher frequencies being uh, coming into my ears where you hear those crazy concert like sounds high pitch sounds it hurts your ears you have to cover them with these types of noises you barely even have to cover your ears because it's a physical it's it's a physical sensation very very physical for all the newcomers here I hope that answers a little bit of why the hell all these weirdos on YouTube are doing these seemingly stupid things but it's fun just like a NASCAR racer wants to go 200 and an MX guy wants to go 200 feet over a jump. So let's do one more final little uh, bass demo with, I think, Easy DB Designs, uh, Hunter Martin, uh, the Kerf Lord, if you will. And uh, let's do some more hair tricks here. All right. Is that a yellow wolf? No, yellow that's a... Uh... Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> 